Hello everyone, in this video we're going to draw an axolotl. Start by drawing an oval as a guide for the head. To draw the oval, first make two small marks to indicate the oval's length, and then on the sides make two more small marks to indicate the oval's width. Make sure that the marks for the oval's width are farther apart than the marks for the oval's length. Then connect the marks using curved lines to finish the shape of the oval. Sketch lightly at first so that it's easy to erase if you make a mistake. Also, pause the video to draw at your own pace. Pay attention to how wide the oval is in relation to its length. Inside the head, draw a horizontal line. This is a construction guide that will help you place the facial features later on. Now draw a curved vertical line for another construction guide. Draw this line close to the right edge of the oval. To the left of the head, make a small mark for the first part of the guide for the body. Now connect the small mark to the head using curved lines to create the guide for the front part of the body. This line should be similar to an oval that's hidden behind the head. Pay attention to where this line begins and where it ends. Farther to the left, draw a similar shape the same way as the guide for the middle section of the body. First, make a small mark to indicate the side of the shape, and then connect the mark to the previous shape to complete the guide for the middle section of the body. The body is receding back, so draw these shapes higher than the head. Now draw a curved line to the left as a guide for the back portion of the body. This guide should be similar to an arc on its side. This arc should be smaller than the previous two shapes. Now draw a couple of long lines that curve to the left as guides for the tail. Draw the right side of the tail wide and the left side thin and pointy. Pay attention to how long the tail is in relation to the body. Under the front part of the body, draw a short angled line as a guide for the front leg. On the bottom right side of the head, draw a shorter angled line as a guide for the other front leg. Under the back portion of the body, draw a tilted vertical line as a guide for the hind leg. Draw three long lines on the left side of the head for the external gills. Make the lines long in relation to the head. Pay attention to how these lines curve. The bottom line should be the shortest. Draw three more lines on the right side of the head for the other external gills. These lines should be shorter than the lines on the left. And that's it for the guidelines. Now let's start on the final drawing. Inside the head, lightly sketch two small circles for the eyes. Place the eyes on top of the horizontal construction guide. Use the vertical line as a guide to help you determine the space between the eyes. When you get the sizes and positions of the eyes right, darken the shapes. Inside each eye, draw a smaller circle for the pupils. Draw the eye on the right smaller and flatter. Shade in the pupils. Under the eyes, draw a short horizontal line for the mouth. Sketch lightly at first and only darken the mouth when you get the shape right. Curve the sides of the line down to make the mouth longer. The sides of the mouth should be below the eyes. The right side of the mouth should curve down along the edge of the oval. Draw another horizontal line in the middle for the open mouth. Draw a few lines under the mouth for creases on the skin. Above the mouth, draw two tiny circles for the nostrils. Use the initial oval as a guide to draw the rest of the head. 
darken the lower edge of the oval to create the bottom of the head. Draw a few more lines at the bottom for texture. On the right side, curve the lines so that the shape is slightly wider than the oval. Draw these lines around the mouth. Darken the top part of the head, but make it thinner than the oval. Use the line on the top left side of the head as a guide to draw the first gill stalk. Draw the shape of the gill around the guideline. Make the bottom part wide and the top part thin and pointy. Sketch lightly at first and only darken the lines when you get the shape right. Use the lines below as guides to draw the other gills the same way. Lightly sketch the shape of the gill around the guideline. When you get the shape right, darken the lines. Make the bottom part wide and then gradually make the top thinner. Make the bottom gill smaller than the other two. The bottom gill should connect to the bottom edge of the head. Now use the lines that are on the right side of the head as guides to draw the other three gills the same way. Lightly sketch the gills around the guides and only darken the lines when you get the shapes right. Make the bottoms of the gills wide and then gradually make them thinner toward the top. The tips of the gills should be thin and pointy. Now draw a series of short lines along the edges of the gills for the small filaments. Make the lines short on the tips of the gills and then slightly longer along the bottoms. Space out the lines so that they're not too close together. It's okay to overlap the edges of the gills as you draw the lines. Now use the angled line that's under the body as a guide to draw the front leg. First, lightly sketch the shape of the leg around the guideline. Bend the shape in the middle for the joint. Draw the edges of the leg close to the guideline. Along the bottom, draw four thin pointy shapes for the toes. Each toe should be similar to the letter V. When you get the shapes right, darken the lines. Don't overlap the gill at the top as you draw the leg. Pay attention to how small the leg is in relation to the body. Use the angled line on the right as a guide to draw the other front leg. The top part of this leg will be hidden behind the head. Draw a series of small V-shaped lines at the bottom for the toes. Spread out the shapes of the toes. Use the short line that's under the back portion of the body as a guide to draw the hind leg the same way. Draw the shape of the leg around the guideline. At the bottom, draw four small V-shaped lines for the toes. Curve the sides of the leg to give it structure. Now use the shapes in the middle as guides to draw the rest of the body. Simply darken the outer edges of the guides to create the shape of the body. Use one long continuous line as you darken the initial guides. Don't overlap the previous shapes as you darken the lines. Draw a curved line on the left side for the thin section that surrounds the tail. Sketch lightly at first and only darken the line when you get the shape right. Make this line wavy. The bottom section should be thinner than the top. 
Now go over the final lines with a pen, a marker, or any other type of permanent ink. The next few steps are sped up so that the video isn't too long. Take your time and be careful when you ink your drawing to avoid any accidents. Don't ink the initial guidelines, only the final drawing. When the ink dries, erase all of the guidelines. Now color your drawing. Color the body using different shades of pink and peach. Color lightly at first and then gradually build up to darker colors. Using red, draw a few angled lines inside the gills for veins. Use more short lines using different shades of red along the edges of the gills for more filaments. Color the gills using different shades of red, pink, and peach. Gradually add more color to the rest of the body. Axolotls can have different colors, so you can color yours differently if you'd like. For a white variety, you can leave the body blank and only add a few shadows. Use darker shades of pink and peach along with some gray to create shadows on the body. Coloring can be time consuming, so be patient and take breaks. It's a good idea to use reference as you color for a more accurate depiction of an axolotl. Color the eyes blue. Add a shadow at the bottom using gray and a bit of blue. Keep coloring until you're happy with the result. And that's it for the axolotl. Don't forget to pause the video to draw at your own pace. Also, please visit howtodrawanimals.com where every step of this tutorial is broken down into an individual image. That's how, and then the number two, then drawanimals.com. If you enjoyed the video, please leave a like and a comment. Also subscribe for more videos in the future. Thank you for watching, and until next time, keep drawing.